your kingdom come your will be done and right now I pray those who have been called into the ministry of prophetic intercession I stretch my hands over you may that grace come upon you right now may that grace come upon you Deborah's arise Elijah's arise men and women of power some of you from this conference you will start prayer groups prayer chains prayer chains across territories in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me lift your voice and pray drive far from your life the spirit of hate drive far from your life the spirit of resentment exalt the body in love build the body in love Correct Muslims in love. Correct traditional worshippers in love. Deal with your unbelieving relatives with love. It is the love of God that brings them to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, in any way I have contributed to the division of the body within my territory, I ask for mercy. Lift your voice and pray. In any way, through ignorance, through limited spiritual understanding, in any way I have contributed, I have planted the seeds of this God among members. I have planted the seeds of this God among men of God, among deacons among church workers i have created a sense of competition and appetite to outshine i ask for mercy i ask for mercy lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray prayer points and we're done for tonight next prayer point Lord trust me with any dimension of your power available I will not disappoint you it will be for the body not for my members trust me may I be a worthy vessel oh God that you will find to host your prosperity to host your prophetic grace to host the apostolic fire host leadership to host administration let it please you to trust me let it please you to trust me it will be for your body it will be for your body preservers of divine ordinances we are going to pray I want us to spend about five minutes intercede for the body of Christ in this nation listen but particularly intercede for the body of Christ in Zaria Lord Zaria remains a place of revival. This is where we are domiciled for now, so we pray for the peace of this city. We decree and declare this town remains crisis free. This city remains development conducive in the name of Jesus. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ is favored upon this land. Are we praying? Lift your voice and pray. 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 We pray for the churches in the six geopolitical zones of this nation. We bless them. We strengthen their hands in the spirit. Lord, we declare that there be a supply, a greater supply of the spirit, a greater supply of financial resources, a greater supply of the spirit of illumination, revelation, a greater supply of your grace. 
a greater supply of influence. We pray for the church in this nation. We decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is standing strong. Every church, every cathedral, every pastor, every prophet, every apostle, every priest, we decree and declare that their lives permit your purposes to be established across that territory. Their lives permit your purposes to be established. Their lives permit your purposes to be established. Lord, heal the broken-hearted, broken-hearted men of God, broken-hearted members, broken-hearted churches, broken-hearted denominations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, heal them. Rest more backsliders. Renew anointings. Multiply auctions. Multiply encounters. We pray for the church in Zaria. The spiritual heritage that you have placed upon this land. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. It will not be lost. We prophesy that we are preservers, preservers, preservers of the mysteries of healing, preservers of the power of the Holy Spirit, preservers of the unction for revival, for signs, for wonders, preservers of the prophetic, preservers of the apostolic, preservers of the evangelistic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is just putting in my spirit that we should pray for our children, born and unborn. Ages 0 to age 15. We need to travel. We need to cry and say, Lord, let an angel of your presence begin a walk with those generation of people. Let revival fire once again. Break out. Come on, pray. We capture that age range in Zaria. We do not neglect the generation coming. We do not neglect our children. We prophesy upon them. Children who are here manifest and those who are in the loins of prophecy, we decree and declare, we establish by the Spirit, the spiritual heritage, the pattern must be passed across, our land must be a place of revival, from Pizek to Shika to Savo, we decree and declare, raise voices, Raise prophets, raise apostles, raise pastors, raise evangelists. Let the young ones begin to see visions. Let the young ones begin to have encounters. Let the young ones receive and partake of this heritage of spiritual substance. From our children, out of the mouth of our babes and sucklings, you will ordain praise. You will perfect revivals. Out of our children will come the movers and the shakers in the spirit. And make it happen in your life. This is restoration. In one minute, wherever you are, I want you to pray very passionately and cry based on this word ask the lord to bring restoration don't waste this moment go ahead and pray all the centers that are following overflows those following online 
here is your chance to contact the grace that makes for restoration lift your voice and pray and i will restore someone pray let there be restoration pray god can restore people relationships god can restore things God can restore years someone is praying Lord I've wasted 10 15 years of my life I wasted it not being a believer but now in Christ I am aware that it is within your power to restore I call for that restoration hallelujah hallelujah the bible says and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt it was the lord that brought them but the instrument was the prophetic it says and by a prophet they were preserved let me read this one scripture and then i'll just take two or three minutes to just minister and speak over your life and we'll end with an altar call nehemiah chapter 5 from verse 11 please do not forget this scripture nehemiah chapter 5 from verse 11 restore i pray you to them even this day their lands their vineyards their olive yards their houses also a hundred part of the money and of the corn and wine and oil that ye exact of them listen to that scripture someone is making a decree he said restore everything their lands vineyards olive yards houses hundred part of the money the corn the wine the oil verse 12 then said they we will obey we will restore them and will require nothing of them so we will do as thou sayest then i called the priest and took an oath of them that they should do according to his promise it was the priest that came to seal it a command has come restore but there must be the priest that says sign you must make this happen restore restore my joy restore victory restore everything listen the bible says when the lord turn again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream our mouths were filled with laughter and they testified among the hidden the lord had done great things for them he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev i sense in my spirit that there are people here i tell you i sense such a strong anointing we just have about two or three minutes we're not taking too much time but i want you to believe in the power of god the power of god is his currency for purchasing realities for believers that as a result of this encounter many of you will return with tearsome testimonies and will say i've not seen it in this fashion before 
Hallelujah. There are three categories of people I want to pray with very quickly. Very, very quickly. And then I just speak over our lives. Number one. I want to impart the grace for speed. Listen. Truly believe me when I tell you there is a grace for speed. There is an exact grace for speed. That when that grace comes upon an individual, you know because you will have dominion over time. Dominion over time. Many of us are, are limited by time. Dominion over time. I want to pray for you. I sense such a strong anointing. I'm seeing the number 24. Even though I'm going to pray for everyone. We, we have just, my time is up so we we'll not have we still have a session hopefully tomorrow either here or any of the centers but I want you to be very very sensitive I want to pray now there are people you are moving but your life is too slow you don't have all the time for that level of slow movement I want to pray there are people who will start running by the anointing please I want you to help them if you can bring them out here let's have them I stretch my hands to the God of heaven no 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 you don't have to come out your cup, the anointing will bring you out in the name of Jesus right now by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare bring them out speed take that grace take that grace in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare over families over businesses Speed, speed, speed. HICC, let me hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare over you speed in the name of Jesus, speed in business, speed in your spiritual adventure. My goodness, may that hand of God rest upon you in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. Bring them out if you can, just one minute and we're done every delay that has kept you bound so that you want to move forward and you're unable to move forward in the name of Jesus Christ I come by the privilege of the election of grace and I declare those chains let you go now let you go now let you go now speed speed every closed door that will not let you move forward i speak to that door a father be open a father be open doors of opportunities in the name of jesus doors of grace doors of new seasons doors of discernment doors of the prophetic those of the apostolic in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have lost that left your life and should not have left I stand by the power of the prophetic between now and the next three months I call upon my God hear me i'm speaking to you everything that left kapatos katigata that left your life your destiny in 90 days by the spirit of grace i command it to be restored now everywhere the overflows the centers be restored be restored be restored be restored be restored and anyone holding what should get to your hands and has refused to release it I call upon the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind let it be restored a hundredfold
every pending project that you've started and has refused to be completed the bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will become will, will, will perfect it i pray 2022 i speak it that let this be your year of completion what god has started in your life this is the year you will see it completed hallelujah final prayer for you every destiny helper anointed to locate you and partner with prophecy as far as your restoration is concerned wherever they are i prophesy to the north the south and the east and the west by the spirit of grace i call them to your life now i call them I call them to your life now. HICC, hear me. I speak to you by the spirit of grace. Enlarge to the left. Enlarge to the right. Enlarge to the east. Enlarge to the west. Break forth to new seasons. In the name of Jesus Christ. Businesses, break forth. Families, break forth. Ministries, break forth career break forth in the name of jesus that when men say there is a casting down for you let it be that this year there is a lifting up hear me everyone who is part of this spiritual family whether here represented in this branch across the other branches connecting from around the world i speak and i decree and declare in the name of Jesus as God has declared to the man of God and his wife I join my faith with them and I speak this year may you see a performance of prophecy in the name of Jesus and for all who are out here I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything limiting you it goes for your sake now you will go and return with how long will we wait for you how long will we wait for your manifestation how long until prophecy comes to pass in your life how long until the healing anointing starts working how long until the prophetic is activated how long until the apostolic is released Harakato shabrande gebere kusiata, eleke vesani kaparusiata, krate ke tete kapare katusia, kras kafada katebe lekatos katebras. Hallelujah. My assignment tonight. Listen, please do not miss tomorrow, the morning and the night session. But I'm going to pray a very brief prayer for you right now my prayer for you tonight is for a quickening grace there are many of you times already against you i want to release that grace there is the quickening grace of the spirit that can cause you to be alive unto god alive unto righteousness consecrated set apart unto that which your destiny demands in christ this is my prayer for you and as that grace comes upon you i want you to leave this place tonight with the consciousness of that grace the consciousness of the working of that spirit for some of you that grace will cause you to begin to repent of certain ways for some of you that grace will cause you to submit to the purging of the spirit that certain things leave your life for some of you that grace will activate your prayer life again activate your word study life activate your passion for the things of god father i stretch my hands upon the men and the women in this place in the name of jesus christ at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus the one who is deserving of your followership and as you shout that name grace will rest upon you are you ready now one, two, three.
three, shout Jesus. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Please bring them out very quickly. Can you bring them out? Whether you are an usher or not, just bring those under the anointing quickly. In the name of Jesus, that anointing is coming upon you. Coming upon your prayer life. Whether you are an usher or not, please bring them out quickly. Just direct them. Can, can someone help me speak to them so they understand what I'm saying? Those under the anointing, please bring them out for me. Whether you are an usher or not, you pick them and bring them out. That's what I'm saying. There is a reason why I ask that they come out. I'm seeing fire. Fire. And I'm seeing the number 27. The Lord is saying is reigniting the Christian experience of many. I don't know where you are, but at the count of three, you will shout that word fire. One, two, three. Burning everything. Everything that needs to die should die. Everything that needs to burn should burn. Everything that needs to give way should give way. Destiny beckons on you. Your preordained destiny beckons on you. Hallelujah. 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 Hear me. I'm hearing saviors of families. There are some of you, the mantle to deliver your families on you. I don't know where you are, but I stretch my hands. May that mantle find you now. You are the one ordained by destiny to deliver your family from witchcraft to the apakatos ketebata to deliver your family do not allow the devil destroy your family do not allow the devil take your family members to hell i release that mantle that call of destiny saviors of families saviors of families saviors of families You may not look like it, but go through the training. You may not look like it, but follow the pathway in the spirit. The end of it is power. The end of it is glory. The end of it is grace. Even grace multiplied. whether you are young or old I came to call for something from within your spirit deep calling on to deep deep calling on to deep we are wrapping up already deep calling on to deep and even those of you outside don't think because you are outside you are out of the program open up your spirit and receive that which God is doing. Hallelujah. Before I pray for those in front, there are two prayers we are going to pray tonight. The first prayer is a prayer of repentance. To repent means to realign back to God's pattern. Open your mouth right where you are and say, Father, I repent. Of carelessness, I repent. Of giving room to all kinds of things in and around my life. Are you praying? Oh, me now. 
Let me pray for all those in front. Father, you have brought these ones by your spirit, young and old. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. That apostolic fire, that ignition that has come upon you. For many of you, it's a fire unto repentance. For some of you, it's a fire unto pruning. For some of you, it's a fire unto purification. Purifying every dross, every flesh, and everything that must give way for the glory. I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, may your training with the Spirit begin. May your training with the Holy Ghost begin. May your training with the Holy Ghost begin. May men and women of power emerge from this conference. Whether Yoruba, whether South South, whether Northern, the truth of the matter is that there's nothing we can do about ourselves. We were brought by God. Let's cause the spirit of darkness. Remaining one area. Where are you from? Not east, not there's someone. 
This is south, south, southeast, northeast, north central, southwest. There's remaining one. Please, our time is gone. Northwest. Kaduna. Where else again? North central. This is Nigeria. I'd like us to pray and prophesy that as the hands are joined in hands, any spirit trying to destroy us. The evil man will love the Yoruba man, the Hausa man, we love the South South man. We cause the spirit of hatred. We cause the spirit of hatred. We cause the spirit of hatred by this prophetic act. Listen, God is not just a God of Christians, He's a God of everyone. We are praying for everybody in Zaria around. Let the Muslims prosper, let Igbo people prosper, let Yoruba prosper. Don't antagonize anybody. Lift your voice and say, Father, because of our presence, Nigeria must prosper. Lift your voice and pray. Take away any tribal sentiment. All we want is to see Jesus glorified in our nation. Jesus glorified in every home. Jesus glorified in every geopolitical zone. them from this nation in the name of Jesus as your priests we lift up our voice from this side of your kingdom and we declare that as far as this territory is concerned we remain one I decree and declare by this apostolic grace and under this platform the church in Zaria remains one there is no Igbo church. There is no Yoruba church. There is no Hausa church. There is only the church, the ecclesia, God's own place. In the name of Jesus, there will be no hatred and no violence within this border. Father, 
we commit our people here representing this nation prophetically let there be the spirit of love and unity every plan and purpose that is not of God to cause trouble to kill people to maim people to destroy lives and properties we banish it in the name of Jesus and Lord we thank you we ask for grace that our priesthood will be the reason why every territory we find ourselves will love you and live for you in the name of Jesus Christ father we give you all the praise in the name upon my life must come this yoke must be broken rakatata to soto meleketa shamras katabos eteros Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. And I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny I tear it down tonight lift your voice and pray I tear it down altars of delay altars of barrenness altars of failure yourselves to two find find a partner and hold a hand be serious please if the person by your side is not serious leave him alone we are doing serious business tonight find a partner and hold a hand say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight I invoke the blood let the blood speak lift your voice and begin to pray every legal access every legal access every legal access I have given any altar of darkness Shabbat Kata Matele Kodosia Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Even the lawful captives shall be delivered Shabrakete kala 
Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus. I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I curse you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Hallelujah. We are really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We are still praying, please. We are still praying. Shalapakaya. We are still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We are still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny. Because of where I'm coming from, I prophesy tonight your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray. Altars associated with territories, associated with territories, I come against you by the God of heaven. I come against you. Pray, pray. I come against you. Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years. But it looks like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders on horizon the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries Pray, pray. Every day, don't stop. Don't break it. Don't stop. Don't delay. Let the 
Haleluya. Haleluya. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen. I don't care how many. Call it. Listen. You are going to call them one by one. And say I stand as an altar. And I bring you out of this dungeon. Lift your voice and pray. Call them. Call them. Call them. Mention them. By name. Call them. I bring you out. Of this wasteful living. Call them. Shake it up and I'm going Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is In the name of Jesus I command it to my life now Lift your voice and pray You don't have to travel Call it everywhere it is Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Listen. I want you to pray and talk to God. Tell Him, Lord, I'm part of this apostolic family. The altar you have erected here must speak for me. I want my life to show it from today. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with understanding and watch what happens to you. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Understanding, Lord, I inform the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Maketos soto mo shabada. Lambe maketos soto mo shabada. I declare it. Maketos soto mo shabada. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize what is happening to you. Please, I don't want you to idolize this teaching. No. It's not about religiosity. 
it's about proper understanding and application so it's not just coming to lie down here that, no 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 the altar is a revelation we are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives listen because many of us here the only time you pray is when you are together with people satan started attacking you he gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life he will never attack it at once he can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray i receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my altar fresh grace to pray fresh grace to fast fresh grace to intercede fresh grace for warfare I command every dead prayer life around my life come back to life come back to life hallelujah hallelujah one last prayer point and i'll pray for you there are many of us the spirit of god started revealing things to you because you were meeting with him every day but something happened no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life no access to illumination you used to be you used to have projects that you and god are on you can literally say we are on a faith project but now there's nothing like that your life has become stale and barren some of you is when you started ministry this this so-called thing called ministry that's what destroyed you we are going to pray a prayer of restoration and the fire will fall upon you i like you to pray say in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say holy spirit i ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you're just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened pray restore that intimacy restore that sweet fellowship that i once had with you fellowship that nothing in this world could be compared hallelujah please lift your hands i tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies i pray for you now i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as i speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three i command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of god will come on people one two three I command those altars now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. 
I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just, I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here. Failure. It has nothing to do with academics. It makes you fail in everything. I stretch my hands. May that fire anyone here who is a victim, that altar is speaking. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now by fire. I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job, they tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception, everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category, but in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, following online, anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment right now in the name of Jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus I command total deliverance help them help them please total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ put down your hands ladies keep your hands lifted I will tell you why I'm praying There are many ladies, let me tell you. Many people don't know why things don't work, especially for ladies. It's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad. It's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit. A lady is not just another human being who is not a man. No, it's more than that. A lady is the chiefest point of entrance, even among men. That's why she has a womb. The only lady, a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit. It's not just a human being. Keep your hands lifted. That's why demons look for them. That's why spirits look for them. That's why altars speak against them. It may not be caused by you, but I'm praying for you. Keep your hands lifted. You may not understand what is happening. Lord Jesus, I'm praying now. That any one of our sisters here, whose family and destiny is under siege shakas kopayaka mantele kos kata pris kalato shikre ataka i'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names i decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of jesus free in the name of Jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lungs around your body those lungs those barrenness I cause it by the God of heaven I cause it by the God of heaven hallelujah i'm seeing 11 ladies the lord is opening my eyes listen now i'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of jesus 11 people ladies especially i'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands Lord I pray whoever came into this meeting whether online or offline and belongs to that category in the name of Jesus as I'm praying now I command I'm praying now the fire will fall on certain people 11 in all I see Lord let it be right now 
I, I break that marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. My God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. Satos Susi Pariatash. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed. Sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is. Right now in Jesus name. I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus. Whether inside or outside. You are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know, but we're rounding up. Please just, just be patient with me. I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people. Yoruba people, there is there is something, a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people. You know how God acts as I'm speaking now. Everyone associated with that territory, I place the word of God now. In the name of Jesus, let that sword of deliverance, I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance i command it now inside and outside in the name of jesus no escape no escape for any power of darkness Every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here. You watch what happens to your life from this meeting. Anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you, something about you becomes an irritation. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. Ah, I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's be Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.